forget to check out my Patreon where you can get exclusive access to all my picks and all my trades before they hit the market and before they hit YouTube. So welcome back to another video on the Finance Value Guy. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about why Shiba Inu has 10 days before a major occurrence that is going to be either up or either down for Shiba Inu. And I'm going to be talking about exactly why the cryptocurrency market is in a very, very nice position, okay? Especially for those of you who are trying to snipe some very, very quick prices. So let's get into it. And as you guys can see right now on CoinMarketCap, you can see a cryptocurrency overview. Overall, so far, the market is very stable. Remember in my videos right now, we are at a stage where the cryptocurrency market is in a stage of Bitcoin dominance, meaning that altcoins are very, very unlikely to overperform Bitcoin simply because Bitcoin right now is the strongest asset, meaning that when Bitcoin moves up or down, everything else moves down, which is why I'm currently using Bitcoin to analyze Shiba Inu's price prediction. So as you guys can see right now, what looks to be happening on Shiba Inu may be on the short term right now on the four hourly looks to be the breakdown potentially of a rising or falling wedge as you guys can see right there, multiple touch points on the support and multiple um, things right there as you guys can see on the resistance and so far that break of this okay at the end of the apex looks like it's going to be bringing us down to some lower levels. Now of course this isn't good but this would bring us down to the price target of 32 cents. But as you guys can see, 33 cents to 32 cents isn't that much of a major move. And if we look at our price range, just showing you guys right here, if we look at our price range, that is like a 4% move. So to be honest, nothing crazy in the sense of the markets that we have right now. Nothing crazy in the markets that we have right now. There is just nothing too crazy. But we do have a situation on our hands where we are going to be looking to see if Shiba Inu performs this crazy, crazy thing. And I'm going to be talking about if Bitcoin can do that as well. So as you guys can see in many of my previous videos, I talk about how on the Patreon we predict a lot of stuff. And there are some patterns that we are watching right now. Now, one of the patterns that I am watching right now for Shiba Inu and for Bitcoin is the pattern that finishes within a around 10 days. As you guys can see, today is the 15th of December. In around 10 days, we will be at the 25th of December. And if we mark the 25th of December with, um, if we get it, let me just go ahead and get it right now. If we mark the 25th of December with an apex point, you guys can see that this is the exact area as to where Bitcoin and Shiba Inu kind of collide with multiple support lines. Now, of course, this could be wrong because right now we are trending downwards. But if we look at the bigger picture, this is going to be a key date because by then we will either have broken the support and moved down or either broken back up and moved into an uptrend. Now, if you guys can see with Bitcoin right here, if you look once again, you guys can see that around this area, around the 26th of December, okay, this is the area where we start to get very, very close, okay, even onto New Year's, where we start to get close. If we look at this, or if we're bouncing in this sandbox right here, where we start to get close to that area where we are then, you know, eventually going to be squeezed up and out or down and under okay and so far we've had fake outs on both sides now this is the crazy thing guys okay bitcoin right now is at a situation where people don't really know what's happening the crazy thing is and if you're wondering what everybody's worried about okay is everybody okay including myself okay is currently worried about this wick right here you see this wick down to forty thousand. okay shows us that bitcoin can really do whatever it wants and some people um, are predicting that bitcoin may wake back down here i'm telling you guys right now that in 10 days if we do see a major market move and shiba inu does manage to wick down to 29 cents i do believe that there's going to be a large majority of people that do buy and i've got very good evidence to show you this so if we look okay back at the cryptocurrencies for example if we look at dogecoin okay i'm going to show you guys the dogecoin if i see, see the overview you guys are going to see um, so far, the line's playing up very well. You guys are going to see that every single time previously where Dogecoin or any major cryptocurrency had a major, not a scam wick, but a very volatile wick down, you guys can see that eventually we come to back, we come back to retest that wick. So for Shiba Inu, this scary wick down, okay, as you guys can see, starts to trend down. And Dogecoin, scary wick down, starts to trend down. Eventually, we come back and we retest those levels. But what's crazy is that after we retest those final levels is that we break up. So maybe, just maybe, $40,000 is going to be the bottom. And for Shiba Inu, it looks like $0.29 cents is going to be at the bottom. What this means for us is that in the next couple of days, okay, if Bitcoin does lose key levels of support, like the $47,000 level does start to trend toward $40,000, while everyone is panicking, I will be buying. Now, I will be buying simply for the fact that I do believe that the risk is worth the reward here. To be honest with you, when I look at the crypto market and I look at the fact that lengthening cycles is probably a thing, the rampant inflation going on in the wider economy, I do believe that this is not a bad time to buy if we go to 40k, simply because it's not too far away from the potential bottom, okay? And I do believe 
that right now we are sitting on a very, very interesting time. Overall, I do believe that right now the cryptocurrency market, nobody knows what's going to happen. But I do believe that the fact that everybody's expecting this lower level means that if we do hit there, a lot of people are going to be buying there and there is a lot of fear in the market. So for now, what I'm going to be doing for Shiba Inu is I'm going to be watching to see if these key support levels, as you guys can see, support here, support here. If we do manage to get supported all the way here, can lead to some kind of breakout because as you guys can see, there is already resistance on the upper bands of this. So for now, that is what I'm watching on Shiba Inu as you guys can see. It doesn't look too great because we did lose these key levels, but as long as we don't lose this level, then things won't get super bearish. And even if we are there, that is exactly where I'm going to be buying because I do believe that is where all the hands are going to be very, very exhausted. And as for Bitcoin, if you're wondering where is Bitcoin going to take us? Well, once we manage to break this down to the resistance line, okay, that is going to be the first step and then breaking this long-term resistance line right here as you guys can see because bitcoin definitely has a long way to go but i do believe guys that we are in an accumulation phase i don't believe we're in a bear market if we are i will tell you guys even though the signs are definitely definitely bad for us losing the support right here losing the support right here um uh, one thing i also did want to talk about okay before this video does end is something that could potentially play out now if you don't know what a wake of accumulation is basically guys this is price manipulation now i did make a video on this but i didn't get to publish it in time because um there were just some things but nonetheless the video is here now basically what we're looking at okay as you guys can see is it some kind of price manipulation now what does this mean it basically means that price is manipulated to perfectly for the larger whales to accumulate at a high, higher price now as you guys can see this pattern and many other patterns like it sometimes do get invalidated but this interestingly enough was posted on december the 12th okay and so far as you guys can see so far okay He's updated this on December the 13th. That was playing out perfectly. As you guys can see right there, it hit the second green dot. As you guys can see, there was a green dot right there and that green dot was predicted. So it does say that phase C may potentially take us to 52K. And of course, this work of accumulation phase sometimes doesn't play out 100% perfectly. But right now, I do believe is the most important time for people to be looking at altcoins and for people to not really be looking at Bitcoin because we've already been through two accumulation phases, okay? If you don't understand what that means, it's basically periods of consolidation where Bitcoin didn't really do much. You went through a very large one here and a very smaller one here. And both times, we had a nice big gain, okay? So it does look like that is what we are experiencing here and i do believe yeah, that is most likely what we are experiencing and i will update you guys about the whack of accumulation because to be honest it's very weird how this was a whack of accumulation top right here and this was all how this was a smaller version of the whack of accumulation so overall so far we are looking to be very very good in terms of bitcoin structure okay um and i would say that as long as bitcoin does hold this key level we are going to be in a very very good scenario so with that being said guys let me know what you guys think about bitcoin let me know what you think about dogecoin if you guys are wondering about dogecoin i know this is a shiba inu video guys quick update dogecoin like i said in my previous video literally just going to be heading on this resistance line all the way just the way back to probably you know 16 cents as the low um and this is why i'm saying guys many people are picking up altcoins because if you do see historically dogecoin this is the historical low when we look at the previous dogecoin ever lows that low is right there guys and as you guys can see we're flirting with that same level right now guys that is the same key key level okay um and maybe if we do wick down here that is definitely a buy in my book same with bitcoin as you guys can see this is definitely one of our key levels as you guys can see it's the resistance resistance there's just so much support on that level so at the end of the day what's going to be interesting okay is to see how this plays out it's going to be interesting to see if this whack of accumulation does play out it's going to be interesting to see if many people panic sell if we go into a super bear market i am someone that believes in lengthening cycles talks about this on the patreon so it means that you know 2022 2023 is definitely going to be a very interesting year for cryptocurrency and i would say that you know times like now do present moments of opportunity and when this bitcoin pattern does break either towards the downside by losing this key level or it breaks towards the upside i definitely think we're going to see some major major moves back into the market but for now all we can really do is sit and wait to see as bitcoin manages to make its move into the accumulation base so with that being said guys let me know what kinds of coins you're buying are you still holding shiba inu, inu i need to tell you guys about some major major updates for shiba inu including some burns and stuff like that but with that being said guys I said overall guys i'm letting you know that so far i'm not completely bearish i get super bearish underneath forty thousand. okay that is when i get bearish okay and even then i'd probably be buying bitcoin because bitcoin is a long-term investment okay on a 10-year horizon so for me guys that is what i'm thinking right now in terms of price targets guys i don't really have a 
price target. I think we could go down to 40,000. I think we could go down to 42,000. If we go to down to those 42 to 43, I personally will be buying. Also, what's interesting is that, you know, I do think that once this resistance line is broken and this resistance line is broken, we will have a very nice upside. And as for sheep, guys, as long as we don't you lose this yellow line right here, we should be in a very nice scenario for some upside, provided that Bitcoin does its thing as well. We could easily break to 38 and then, of course, to 42, guys. So with that being said, do not forget to leave a like, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next awesome video.